Hello pile number one. Today we are going to uh, channel uh, feelings and thoughts from your person and um, if you are not in the contact with your person at the moment then this could be helpful even if you are in contact with your person and you cannot reach their feelings maybe this will help you to understand a little bit better what is going on inside of them sometimes people close themselves and uh, we really cannot we really cannot know what is in their mind and we don't know how to behave accordingly to to that because so many things are unknown to us so it's like tapping in the darkness i would say that is why uh, we are doing today this reading to get a little bit more insight uh, in your person feeling um thoughts anything that we could receive as an information i will try to move everything a little bit here so that you could see it better today is a very rainy day and there are no many there is no a lot of light as you can see but it will be enough for our reading to to be done so wedding prepare soul what is this ten of cups reversed ten of pentacles interesting hermit reversed and page of pentacles reversed okay file number one let's see what your person is saying let's see what your person is feeling and let's see what your person is saying or would say if they could to you um i would say that uh, this person definitely wants to commit uh their goal life goal is to have a family is to have a person with whom they are going to share everything literally sharing everything but uh, maybe focus is on material on material wealth so we can see that this person really really is fantasizing about marriage and uh, this this is something that it's very important to them so maybe they are trying to manifest your marriage maybe they are trying to manifest connection with you going on the on a different level uh something that is more real something that more down to earth uh, it could include house or being safe uh, materialistic so having a safe home you know everything that includes the family car kids uh you know good jobs uh, well salaries all of all of those things that are includes uh, that are including a good life quality life let's say it like that and that is what your person desires this is the goal of your person what i see that they are doing here is they are preparing themselves for this but uh, they are struggling very much and uh, the reason why they are struggling is that they need to open themselves more and at the moment they are not in the position to invest in this so it could be that your person cannot provide you this at this moment because uh, their financial status at this moment is not enough or they they were isolating themselves too long and now it is very hard for them to reconnect they feel that they need to prepare for this process and that they are not yet ready it could also be that this is something that you already discussed with this person and your person feels the pressure uh, not the pressure like you are forcing the wedding but the pressure that they want it to but they don't know how to do it how to manifest it at this moment your person is quite lonely at this moment 
they are feeling themselves maybe there was some kind of um, disconnection or fight where you to where where the base of your connection and the base of your relationship was a little bit shaken here and maybe something that was so stable and secure suddenly was not anymore that stable and secure and uh, this is where this confusion jumps in it seems like your person went very deep inside of themselves uh, going back to what they what their soul needs they are maybe writing a journal maybe they are just reminding themselves maybe going back to the previous notes that they were making in the past uh, whatever it is they are now in a doubt if they can have this kind of union and stable relationship especially financial with you pile number one and what I want to do now is to to take three more cards that will tell us their exact thoughts. We will try to read their exact thoughts towards you. Okay. Let's try to do this. So your person is saying this, you could be the one, you could be the one for me in this life, but I lack truth. I lack truth. I feel like you could be more honest and more straightforward towards me because I need this to gather my strength. This is where I pull my strength on the truth I base our relationship. And when the truth is not there, I don't feel secure. I need more transparency. I need to know more. Please don't hide things from me. I need to be strong. And to be strong, I need you to be clear. I feel you could be the one. And I will make necessary effort. But please make the necessary effort from your side as well. So this would be the channeled message from your person. I hope that this will help you to feel or to at least have any insight where your person is. And I would just love to take one more card as your advice. Pile number one. Interesting. So just like your partner, your person is writing something here. You see, they are having a journal or they are writing something your advice is to record something maybe it is the same thing and to me this uh, very much reminds me of a history like you know when we are watching album from the past things that we collected like uh, some kind of memory oh i apologize these are the pipes in my apartment uh, so this seems to me like a memory, like a memo, memo book. And your advice is to examine the past, go through it. Um, don't take everything from granted and see where this person was, how this person was in the past towards you and what this person gave to you. Because they are opening their soul to something. They are also remembering something. It's like almost they want to go back. Step backwards. And uh, here is where your advice goes. Remind yourself how it was before. And remind yourself who you were before. Maybe on the way something got a little bit switched. Lost. Maybe redirected in some directions that we don't want. So go back. Check yourself. Remember who you were, go back to your heart, and from that place, move forward. Pile number one, I wish you so, so much happiness in your endeavor. And I hope that with your person, everything will end up well. Thank you for being with me. And I'm very happy to read for you. 
See you soon. Ciao. Hello, pile number two. Today we are going to talk about your person's feelings. Uh, we will try to channel the message from your person, but before that we will just check out how your person is at this moment. Sometimes we are not connected to a person, so it's very hard for us to know how they feel, what they are thinking, what is in their mind, what is in their heart. <laughs> very hard. Then we are guessing, struggling, trying to understand what is going on there, but almost impossible. That's why we are now going to ask for guidance. And I hope we will receive some uh, useful, really useful answers for you, part number two. Let's see what is going on with your pile. Here we have, <laughs> I cut my nails and now I'm really struggling with turning the cards, healing family issues, synchronicity, reconnect, three of swords. Knight of Cups, Lovers, and King of Pentacles. Good. Pile number two. This reading is very interesting. Let's begin. So your person, your person definitely has some kind of traumas from the past. Childhood trauma. Many people have childhood trauma. Me as well, you probably as well. Almost all of us experience something in our childhood that left scars. And we are basically all of our life trying to heal ourselves from those moments that we could not control. But fortunately, there are so many tools and there are so many ways how we can go back inside of our heart. And your person is actually trying to do exactly that. They are trying to reconnect with their childhood them. So your person is thinking a lot about the past and what happened to them when they were, they were little or when they were growing up. There are some things that are influencing their relationships with people and especially you that has root in their past family past. This person uh, is trying to reconnect with their deep emotions. This card, Two of uh, Cups, it is really powerful card. Uh, it's never in the reading if there is no deep connection and deep love. And in this position, how I'm reading this spread, I see that your person really, really, really had this with you not had as a past tense, it is still there because these connections are for life. So there is really something very special between you and this person. And this person knows that. They know that. They came at you strong in the past, offering you something special. They were giving you, giving you, giving you. That is how you probably noticed them because they were really generous towards you and they were offering everything that they could so that you could notice them. Uh, and what they are trying to do now is to reconnect with that person, that person from the beginning. What happened is that they really fully opened their heart and probably you as well because I see these synchronicities here that points to me that both of you gave a lot to each other. So both of you open each other for this love, for this connection. And there was something that happened that really hurt your connection. It could be a third person. Um, I would not say that cheating is uh, present here. I would say that you know what happened here and it could be a third person who 
entered. It could even be a person connected with his or your family because we really have this uh, family, parents, so, so, so strong in this reading. And, and I would say that maybe somebody from the family got involved between two of you and then chaos was created and this caused separation or distance or any kind of problem between two of you. And now you are at this place where you are in confusion, what to do next, because both of you really love each other and you don't want to let this go, you are struggling. So let's see what your person is saying to you. Let me try to channel this message. My love, I'm really tired from this codependency that we have. We love each other so much that we crossed the boundary of love and we started to be so obsessed with each other that it became an addiction. Only thing that I had on my mind was you, what you are doing, where you are going, with whom you are dealing with. And on your mind was nothing but that as well. That caused us so much suffering and so much conflicts. Our communication was not healthy. We were not giving each other security. Um, and insurance that we both needed from each other. What I needed was empathy. I needed you to feel me, to understand me, to appreciate me, to approve me. Because I'm so full of insecurities. And I feel you are too. The fears got the most out of us. And I really want to stop fighting. I'm tired of fighting with you. I just want to feel you and I want you to feel me in the place where we can be at peace. That is what I need with you. Peace. So this is the channeled message from your partner. And I will try to take one more card for your advice. File number two. Forgive. So your advice is forgive. Forgive file number two. If your person did something that you still hold on into yourself, sooner you forgive, sooner Things will start moving forward. I know that it is not easy, especially when we are hurt by somebody that we love so deep. And it is very hard to go over something that we hold in ourselves. Scars are not healing fast and we need time for that. However, your advice here is to forgive Forgive with your heart, because sooner you forgive, sooner you will heal. And that is what you want, pile number two. That is the same thing that will happen to your person. The moment you forgive them, the moment they can move forward into transforming themselves into a better person. Think about it. You don't have to forget what happened. But forgiving, forgiving, truly, honestly forgiving from your heart will set you free. This is your advice file number two for your situation. I hope that it will bring a bring little bit more clearance and peace on your path. 
and I wish you all the best with this person. I hope that everything will be resolved soon and in the positive way for you, pile number two. Thank you for being with me. I'm very happy to read for you and see you soon. Hello, pile number three. Pile number three. We are here to channel a message from your person. And we are going to try to understand what is going on in your connection. We will try to receive a message from your person as well as advice for you at the end what to do with the information that we received. Sometimes it is very hard to reach people we love. Sometimes they get inside of them cells like a shell they really got get close closed and we cannot reach them that gives us a lot of confusion and pain especially if we love that person so much and especially if we want to help them sometimes we feel left out and we feel like this person is ignoring us and what is happening actually is they are in their own movie something is happening inside of them and it is not even connected with us, but with them. And uh, not knowing what is going on, it is always painful. We need this clarification and feeling of um, where we are so that we could feel at peace. Let's see your cards, pile number three. Still struggling without the nails. <laughs> I will have to let them again. Let them grow a little bit bigger. Passion, forgive. Synchronicity. Ace of Cups, beautiful. Knight of Cups. Seven of Wands and Queen of Wands. Okay, pile number three. Let's start. Let's see where your person is at this moment. So your person is very, very, very attracted to you. That is, that is obvious. That is clear. They want you. They want you. When they are with you, they love being with you. When they are with you, they want to protect you. They want to... Uh, make you feel safe and they are like that they are very protective however lately something in your synchronicity between you and your person got distorted was it a different life um, things that were happening that were distracting you or your person and moving you from this person and this person was moving from you i don't know what actually happened there i see you being very powerful maybe you were advancing in your career and maybe you got some opportunities uh, that are really positive and going for you and your person is somehow struggling to move in that direction because it is changing their route you know they love their routine and they love their stability and in a way it seems like it seems like you are moving faster than your person and they cannot follow your tempo that is what i would say so some kind of distortion with synchronicity between two of you happened that affected the emotions between you maybe you didn't had enough time for your person or or it was other way around maybe it was your person who got a new job and the new dynamic of life and you know they started in a way isolating from you and putting their focus more on that other thing and not on you it could be as well that scenario pile number three 
However, your person really deeply loves you. And there is no doubt about that. And whatever it is happening at this moment between two of you, I could say that it is not so serious. I mean, I don't see it as a something which could create big problems. I'm not sure if you are disconnected with your person even because there are strong cards here that are showing me that even if you are disconnected, you will very quickly be together again. And um, I see that because whatever it was, forgiveness will come and it will be there. Ace of Cups is again beginning and beginning of some kind of emotional... I don't know how to explain this. some kind of emotional depth so it is it is again starting the emotions are there and even even if they are quiet at this moment you know they will be again accelerated like a new fire like a new emotional appetite and i just took this clarification because we had an ace and I could say that there will be some kind of request here um, coming from you or your person to change this dynamic, whatever it is happening, to, to say, you know, like you are not satisfied or they are not satisfied with the situation as it's now. And somebody needs to speak up and somebody needs to request some kind of change. Now we will try to... Now we will try to take the cards out to channel the message from your person. To see what the person is telling you. If they could say something to you, what, what they would say. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Separation. Seven of Swords and Compassion. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me try to channel this message. I really struggled to do something special that in the process got out of the way and out of the control. I thought that I can do it all by myself, but I overrated myself. I noticed that I cannot do it. And then I had to do things that are not moral, that are not very straight, not very positive. I had to reach to methods towards methods that will help me to accomplish my idea and I was not choosing how I'm going to accomplish it yes I got out of my way and I was not behaving how I should I feel our separation and I feel when you're not there that it is not the same. You are the one who is keeping me out from bad things. And whenever I do wrong, you are the one who puts me back into balance. And without you, I just don't have this compass. I don't know where I'm going. I don't have a reason to do good because nothing is meaningful anymore. I feel empty and I don't feel obligation to be the best of myself without you. Your compassion and your softness and your kindness always was pushing me forward and giving me the strength and this peace of mind and heart. And this is what I need this is what I need so badly to go out from where I got lost myself. I don't know where I am at this moment. 
I just know that it is not a good place to be. And I really want to feel you. You were always the source of my peace. Without you, I don't feel like I even have a heart. Please don't abandon me. So this is the message that I'm getting here from your person. And I'm going to pull out one card as your advice in this matter. Trust. File number four. File number four, trust. Trust. Trust that your person is not what you see at the moment. Trust that your person is a good person and you would never love your person if your person would not have a good heart. They are at the moment in the place where the worst is going out from them. They are pushing the limits and they have to experience that so that they would understand what they are not. Do you see how this moon is actually like a flame? Instead of flame, we see this moon um, like a tip of this candle. It's very interesting because uh, it's like it is glowing in the darkness. Like, like the moon and the stars are making light in the darkness. You have to find your own source of trust and you have to trust that no matter how dark the situation is, there will always be a light glowing to show you the way. Pile number three. This situation really is asking for you to have a lot of trust. Not only in the moment, in the present, but in the future as well. Have faith, strong faith, that everything will happen exactly how it needs to happen. And that it will be the best possible for you, pile number three. Never stop trusting that things are going to end up the best they can for you. Universe is always taking care of us. And even when we don't understand why and how, we just need to let ourselves flow. This is your, this is your advice, pile number three. Have trust and don't lose your trust. And be patient and be strong. This is a phase that needs to go by its way and you just need to stay yourself. Stay with trust and with compassion, pile number three. I wish you positive outcome of this situation with your person and I hope that everything will be settled very soon. I wish you all of the best and I hope that I helped you on this journey a little bit because I know that you are here because you are struggling. You don't know what is going on and I hope that now it will be a little bit more easier and clearer. Have a beautiful evening or day, wherever you are. I'm happy to read for you and see you soon.